Hello and welcome back to Linus and Chuck, where today I'll be teaching you in a few easy steps how to spin nunchucks if you've never used nunchucks before. The very first thing you should do is get as far away as possible from other people and objects. This will help you prevent injuring other people and ruining grandma's rare porcelain figurine collection. The first step in learning how to spin nunchucks is holding them. A common mistake for beginners is to grab them towards the end and begin wildly swinging them around. However, grabbing your nunchucks towards the back will result in you having a lot less control over your spinning. Because most nunchucks are weighted differently, in order to find the proper point at which to hold your nunchucks, take your nunchucks and position them like this, where one end is horizontal with the ground and the other end is vertical. With one end hanging down freely like this, take two fingers and position them below the nunchuck that is horizontal to the ground in order to find where the nunchucks balance. This is the point where you should grab your nunchucks. By grabbing your nunchucks here, you will be able to have the most control over your nunchucks as you are spinning them. The next step is motion. This is how to keep your nunchucks spinning controllably. The best way to do this is by using things called redirects. Redirects are where you let the chain of the nunchuck wrap around a particular point of your body and allow the other end of the nunchuck that you're swinging to reflect off of that point and allow you to control your nunchuck in that way. In order to do this, gently swing your nunchucks out in front of your body and touch the top part of the nunchuck that you're holding onto, where the nunchuck meets the chain or string part of the nunchuck, and touch that part to your waist in order to let the other end swing around behind you and reflect off like that. So once again, swing your nunchuck gently across your body, allowing the top part of the nunchuck that you are holding onto to touch either your waist or your hip so that the chain or string can revolve around your body and allow the other nunchuck to reflect off like that. This can then be done off of both ways and your shoulder allowing you to keep the nunchuck in motion in a controlled manner in front of your body. Start out by doing these slowly so that you do not hit yourself too hard and can learn how to position the nunchucks at your waist in order to let them rotate about and reflect off. The third step is stopping your nunchucks. After you've done your cool redirects off of your waist and bicep, you need some way of stopping your nunchucks that's not just putting them in front of you and letting them stop on their own. There are a few different ways in which you can stop your nunchucks. The first of which is allowing your nunchucks to rotate into your open hand and grabbing it that way. However, there is a much cooler way to do this, which they do in all the movies, which is the tuck. For this, you reflect the nunchuck off of your bicep using the redirect before bringing it downwards off the side of your body like this, before catching it underneath your arm in a tuck like this. Once the nunchuck has rotated underneath your arm completely, clamp down on the nunchuck, allowing it to stop in this position. So once again, perform a redirect off of your bicep, allowing the nunchuck to reflect off like this, before bringing it downwards in front of your body, slightly off to the side, bringing it underneath your arm, and clamping down, allowing the nunchuck to stop under your arm in this position. So in summary, the three steps to learn how to spin nunchucks if you've never used nunchucks before are how to hold the nunchucks, how to move the nunchucks using the redirects, and how to stop the nunchucks by either grabbing them or by using the tuck. If you are comfortable with these spinning basics and would like to learn more, be sure to check out my channel for more tutorials on nunchuck spinning. I've also posted links to tutorials on other easy moves in the description below, so be sure to check those out as another step up from this. So I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming in the future, and go check out some of the other various non-truck related tutorials that I have on my channel.